There is something about this world of being so obsessed with having the need to know where we're going and being so afraid of being seen as someone who is lost or someone who is aimless. You know, the world seems to celebrate those who are constantly achieving one thing after another and moving from one place to the next. But little is given notice or as far as saying looked down upon for those who wander. And I think people really overlook the power of wandering. And I know this might sound controversial, but I believe that if people just allow themselves to experience periods of being directionless, then if I dare say so myself, the world could be a better place. Now, I'm not referring to leading our entire lives with no visions, no goals, or you know, lacking that passion to strive onwards towards something. Because without these things, I wouldn't be sitting here creating videos and I wouldn't have a house to live in. But specifically, I'm referring to giving ourselves permission to be within a space and time within our lives where we're not bounded by this need to be at a certain place or obtain certain things or just needing to know where we are headed. I'm not sure what it's like where you guys live but in Australia or at least within my own environment we were so busy rushing from one phase of our life to the next. You know, we would graduate high school with the focus of getting straight into university. And the kids that chose to take a gap year were seen as either lost or aimless, or their parents just had a lot of money. Then while still in uni, people were rushing to find a grad position. Then soon this grad position became this race to climb the ladder. I'd like to put up my hand and say, I was one of those aimless kids. Whilst my friends graduated business school and received jobs in well-known firms, I was just floating. I was fearful and I felt like I was falling behind. But now, 29, I'm so thankful for that period of aimlessness because it showed that I wasn't willing to take a job or career just for the sake of it, for the sake of moving with the crowd. I didn't quite know what I wanted but I definitely knew what I didn't. You know, I didn't realize at the time, but instead of following the stream of doing what was considered appropriately next, which didn't feel right to me, I allowed myself to follow what my soul was calling out for. You know, in the midst of moving from one phase to the next, the loudness of this rush drowns out our inner beings calling to explore. And when I say explore, I'm referring to connecting to the depths of what makes you you. This chance for you to discover what brings you joy beyond other people's opinions. And this chance for you to allow your curiosity to wander off into the off-beaten track. You know, having this dire need to achieve achieve our next stage in life one after the next feels almost as if wearing horse blinders on and never allowing ourselves to stray off course. These blinders block us from not being ourselves and this is exactly what we want to be. We want to be not ourselves because the selves that we think that we are are just sets of programmings and conditions that had already existed prior to us even being born. When I imagine not allowing myself that time and space to be aimless, I picture myself as a horse trapped in this small stable whilst looking onwards into the open wide field and imagining myself what it's like to run free, to have no destination in mind and just experience the endless possibilities, the freedom. It's funny actually, the times where I forced myself to have direction, I became more lost and less connected to life versus when I just allowed myself to wander, I felt so focused and so clear on what it was that brought me joy in that moment. I've learned that if we want to experience our magical dream life instead of living that already carved out life, we need to be in the unknown. And the unknown requires us to be temporarily directionless. That is to let go of what we already know and patiently whilst eagerly invite in the endless possibilities. Then before you know it, the aimless directionless period will end. This is where you start gathering your energy, your momentum, your resources to create in and for this world. This is where your visions and your goals come to life and it is a beautiful period and it's an exciting period. But if there's anything that I've learned in my nearly 30 years of existence is that life happens in waves. That means soon you'll need to be 
aimless again. To allow yourself to wander off into the unknown, to allow new versions of you to be born and then soon be prepared to strive towards another vision once more. I hope that makes things clear. I know that this can be a bit of a convoluted topic and I'm not giving off the message of fuck the government, quit your job, forget about your bills. But if this video does anything, I don't want you to feel bad or feel guilty for being aimless or lost, no matter what age group you're in. Know that this is a powerful, potent, crucial and magical time in your life. And just allow yourself to be in it because before you know it, you're gonna be powering forward with your vision. All because you allowed your soul to experience the expansion it needed to move into your next stage in life. So to all my wanderers, may you wander off and discover what makes your soul feel most alive. And to quote the voice of our generation, Harry Styles, if you're happy doing what you're doing, then nobody can tell you that you're not successful.